We're going to try to build this 3D transform while scrolling. And it's super simple. It's just two lines of code. Okay, so I just removed the code that detected the values and applied the transformation so that we can see step by step what's going on. Now, the first thing we need to do is to embed this inside a geometry. So to make it simpler, I'm just going to embed it in an H tag first and replace the H tag by geometry reader. For the geometry reader, we're going to receive some values. So we're going to name it geometry in. So this wrapper here doesn't have a frame. So we're going to have to set a frame manually. So I'm going to get the frame, set the width to 246 and the height to 150. Then we're going to apply our transformation on the card, which is the component of each card. So I'm going to get 3D. And now it's going to apply some crazy transformation. So let me just make this a little bit less crazy. But when you scroll, you can see that nothing is really happening. So what I'm going to do is apply the values that I'm getting from the geometry reader and apply that to the transformation degrees. So let me just isolate the number 30 so that it's easier to follow. So in Swift, it's type safe and here it's expecting a double type of value. So I'm going to have to put this value inside a double. Then I'm going to use the geometry value that I'm getting using that frame inside dot global. And for this value, I'm just going to get the min x position. And voila, you can see that we have some crazy transformation as you scroll. What you can do is to make this less crazy by dividing the number by about 20. And now we have a much nicer animation. You can also apply the transformation just on the y position. And we get this. I can also apply a minus to get exactly what we had at the beginning. There's also an offset of 40. So you can see that here it's already applying the transformation unless you get at, at zero in terms of X position. So what you can do is set the offset inside parentheses minus 40. And now when it starts at offset 40, then you get exactly without transformation. So what is geometry reader? Basically, it allows you to wrap something and then get the position of that specific part against the whole UI. So this is useful, for example, to wrap the whole screen and get the screen dimension. So instead of using UI screen main bounds uh, dot width, then you can just use a geometry reader and get the value from that. In this case, we wanted to get the position of our card. So we wrap this and we simply say, well, I want to get the frame values of this card against global. And here I'm only interested in the X position at the beginning. Max would be at the end and min would be at the beginning. And then I'm setting an offset of 40 and I'm dividing this minus 20 to get the transformation to be less sharp. And when I scroll, this value that I get from geometry gets updated in real time. So that's what I wanted to show you today. And uh, if you want to learn how to create this UI from scratch, for example, how to create these animations, the menu, even this UI right here where you can edit your data, then I have a course on SwiftUI that you might want to take. Thank you so much.